Welcome to Van Renovations Stage 1. We've taken the bulkhead out. Um, I'm not sure if I like that or not yet. And now we are soundproofing my new favourite task. So. crew van it's coming on nicely the essentials are there we just need to clean out all the rubble wow is clamped on and now we're going to commence gluing. This is the bit I'm kind of scared about because I can't really go back from here, can you? Once it's on, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> I've just finished putting this dodo mat, thermo, super liner, whatever it is. It's basically like squidgy thermal lining, soundproofing thermal stuff on the floor anyway, so that I can put the plastic tray on top and it's not as rattly and loud. But before I put the plastic tray back on, I've got loads of like tie down points that I need to make a cut in the carpet um, so I can fit them back in. I literally can't remember 
where the hole is though so oh yeah there it is so i'm just going to cut the carpet so i can put them back in before i put the liner in little bit ahead of myself because we still need to finish the roof but I just thought I would masking tape out kind of where the storage is going to go so this will be like a full bench seat with storage probably like up to here and then this little gap there is for the front tire of our mountain bike so I can slot the mountain bike down the middle and then these two will be like floor to ceiling storage for all the crew kit and then I'm hoping that this bit here will be big enough for me to sleeping if I need to <laughs> perfect <laughs> excellent um, and I can like get a single blow up bed or something like that if I do ever want to sleep in here we do have a camper van so we don't really need that but yeah I'm so excited still a long way to go before I actually get storage which is the fun part but it's coming together today is woodworking day and I can't say it is particularly stress free it's taken me quite some time to make this first H that's gonna be the um, shelving, just checking that I can still fit this under so the, the wood will go on top, so plenty of room. Just another three H's, five shelves to go, and assembly. And I'm not the most patient human being with inanimate objects in the world. I don't like things that are faffy um, or like, tricky to do like I hate undoing knots on jewelry like that's my worst nightmare so this isn't my idea of much fun but my idea of much fun is having shelves and then organizing them after so needs must let's see if I manage to get at least one shelf done today hopefully maybe we'll see onwards rather than just the arm strength. Gotta use what you got people and my butt is stronger than my arm. Oh my like my arms are quite strong for someone of my stature. But genuinely the drill was gonna break my wrist earlier. Five hours later the skeleton of the shelves are complete. Ta -da! Nice. Then we just have to make the lip. I've got some bungee cord that's gonna go through the legs, make the kind of faces with the holes in and then the hooks and stuff and paint them, put some anti-slip on them and yeah. But 
we made it. Day one of shelf making and we made it. Oh God, that did not go well. Um, it's only just to protect the wood, so it's not, not for aesthetic reasons. Um, but I want it to blend in with the carpet of the van as well, so it's as unobtrusive as possible. But they are painted, so we are ready to put the sides on, put the strips in, and start to complete them. Welcome back inside the van. There's been a few updates since you saw me painting my shelves. Um, we had to kind of rush through doing the first half because I needed to use the van for Manby Horse. But here we are, the shelves installed. So Dan made kind of these faces so that they fit beautifully into the van um, and add like a lip to stop things coming off. And then I'll be able to put hooks on here. Then I added these bungee cords to stop things falling, well, like sliding forward. Dan has already carpeted this side, so that looks really smart. You've got a hole for this hinge to go through, and then we'll have a couple of hooks up here as well. Um, I need to paint kind of the insides of this, and we put an extra strut in. So there's a little bit of painting to do, and obviously these little bits here. Um, so. Lots of finishing touches, but we made it as functional as we could because I needed to use it. So today I need to carpet this first, is my first job. And then along here, I've made the frame for the bench already. Um, so we're going to put, kind of try and finish that off, carpet it, um, and get most of it done. Um, I won't get the bench seat done today because I don't have the material to do it yet. Um, wait for payday. <laughs> so let's try and finish this shelf off as much as possible and get like lots of little little jobs done so first of all i've got my supplies let's get carpeting <laughs> gorilla tubs to go in there and I'm gonna do the same as these across there and this gap is for a bike tire so that I can put my mountain bike in there and it'll like stand up across here I'll show you later once it's in so now I want to be able to protect my bike so I'm actually gonna put some squidgy dodo mat here like all on the inside and around probably about there so that my forks don't get damaged so that's next then we'll carpet
there'll be like a net there and then obviously it'll have a flip up lid that goes all the way across so we've got one big seat and then that side is open and this side will be a big storage box i've just got my tire so i can see if the dimensions are right obviously it'll have forks on so it'll only come to like there but i think that's pretty good we could probably go maybe a tiny bit in So before I attach these two together, I need to put the bungee in like these guys. So here we go, measuring up and putting one bungee to stop all the buckets coming out. I'm going to do the carpet, it's going to be the hard part. Can we get in this? Once it bites, we'll be away. Welcome to another day in the crew van diaries. Um, so the bench seat was the last time you saw it. I actually put it in the van and have used it for a little while. And today is ply day to make the bench seat. Now I would do this myself, but Dan has bought a new tool and he really wants to try it out. So I have very graciously allowed him. Graciously. <laughs> allowed him to cut my ply out for me. So. Danny, are you excited to use your new tool? Always, oh, new tools. So you wouldn't kind of think that a professional seamstress did it and the edges of the bit that I glued, I glued like a bit underneath to make it look tidy under there but you can see it a little bit but that doesn't matter because I have a bench. I just need to put the hinges on and then attach it to the bulkhead in the van and she's done but ta-da! I'm so proud of that. Okay, bench top is on. I can't wait to show you that it actually hinges and it works. And now I'm going to bolt it. So I'm going to make my holes to bolt it to the bottom of the bulkhead. So wish me luck. Here we go. This is like the bit that if I get it wrong, it's not going to attach where I want it to. Oh, there goes a bolt. That went quite well. Where's this one? So I did need Dan to help me put this in. I didn't have enough arms or patience actually. Um, but look at my bench. Ta-da, I'm gonna have like a net um, like thing so you can slot things there and there'll be a 12 volt and a USB charger in here. Um, so basically phase one of the van is done. Phase two is putting electrics in, finishing off this shelf. I'll show you the shelves in a second. 
and a few other bits so I'll run through what is left to do but phase one is now done and look at my bench it opens with everything oh yeah okay so I'm going to show you what's in the van put everything neatly in and then talk you through kind of what is left to do but I am so happy thank you Dan for putting up with basically my toddler tantrums because I hate fiddly inanimate objects I've got the patience of a saint when it comes to humans and horses but inanimate objects no but okay let's have a little tour okay so the driver's side of the van is more or less finished there's a bit of painting and stuff to do and then sorry about the traffic noise one of the main roads around us is shut so all the traffic is coming past here but there's nothing i can do about it this side is unfinished so will and dan both said that i shouldn't put this side in because if i wanted to transport large large, ob large objects then it would be difficult but i don't do that often um like they do they like doing projects and motorbikes and stuff and i'm just i'm not going to do that so if we need to transport something big we've got a trailer so i really wanted to put this in and i've had it temporarily in with the giant cable ties for two weeks now and i love having the space and i really want to finish it off so i've got the top shelf usable as well so yeah that's the back so we've got slosh bottles water containers that are empty for vet gate and crew car water containers this side crew car feed up here this is the vet gate box with like um like boots bandages spares of girth sleeves and stuff like that this is all the rugs in here then we've got tasty treats aquaraid then up here we've got first aid at the back of here is my um electric fencing kit then we've got a grooming kit with like sprays and stuff my spares box and over this side I want to put like my competition chaps, boots um, and other kind of bits that I would normally have in the lorry. Then down here, we haven't got all of them, but that's my competition buckets and wash down buckets and stuff. Um, I'm going to add some hooks up here and this will have the same as well, hooks up here. So that will be for like mountain bike bags and helmets and things or whatever you want and we're going to put hooks at the back as well and then we're going to have electric so that there's lights on every shelf um, and then there's a charger and a 12 volt at the back and then i've got my spare coats and like stuff and things that you just need like baseball caps and spare socks and all of that jazz under this seat so there's still a little bit to do um mainly finish off the shelf over here and do the electrics and just the finishing touches of putting the um, charging points in and the hooks and the little places to put handy stuff and things like that but the overall kind of vibe of the van and how it's gonna work is all done and dad has already used it as a kind of crew van already and so has Dan so they've had a a little bit of a play before it went permanent so we've made a few little tweaks um but yeah i'm really really happy and dad can use it at avon valley which is estrid's last 40 kilometer um hopefully if she completes ride that she needs to do to upgrade from novice to open so yeah he can he can try the new crew van configuration this is actually after avon valley but this vlog is coming out before it's very confusing anyway he'll have used it just without the bench seat <laughs> yeah i'm so proud of that the ultimate crew van when it's all finished i'll give you an update at some point but i am proud of where we've got to at this point um and it's really really useful and i actually loving van life mm -hmm.